Welcome to this video about tubular linear motors. First I will explain how they work, then I will show you how I built one and give a demonstration. I made a numerical model in Python of a tubular linear motor, starting with the magnetic field of a magnet, which is computed by summing the fields of both poles, resulting in the total magnetic field of a magnet. By applying the same principle to a stack of magnets with the same poles facing each other, the total magnetic field of the magnet tube is obtained. When moving a constant current carrying conductor through this magnetic field at a constant velocity, the Lorentz force with a varying magnitude and direction acts on the conductor. When moving a conductor through the magnetic field at a constant velocity, a voltage is induced. Plotting this voltage reveals a sinusoidal looking waveform, which is confirmed by the overlay. When three correctly spaced conductors move through the magnetic field, three sinusoidal waveforms with a 60 degree phase offset from each other are observed. Representing them as phasers shows that flipping the middle phaser causes them to be equally spaced apart by 120 degrees, which in practice is achieved by reversing the polarity of the corresponding conductor. By placing six toroidal windings around the magnetic core, applying three sinusoidal currents with a 120 degree offset and changing the winding direction based on the magnetic field direction, a force is generated by each. Summing these forces together results in a nearly constant force in the axial direction. To build a tubular linear motor, I used an aluminum forcer core because of the heat generated in the windings. Around this core I wound 6 50 turn 24 gauge windings. The first winding is connected to the fourth in reverse polarity because of the magnetic field direction. The others are connected analogously. The magnets are placed in a carbon fiber tube using some force to overcome the repelling magnetic force. The magnet tube is mounted to a piece of 24D extrusion. The forcer slides over the tube after some sanding. The windings are connected in a star configuration to an O-drive V3, in combination with an H9730 optical incremental linear encoder. The setup is configured as having 6 pole pairs and 6123 counts per revolution, resulting in a larger section of the stroke being used for the offset calibration. This helps prevent a mismatch in electrical offset compared to using only a small section of the stroke for calibration. After calibrating the motor and encoder and saving the configuration, the setup is ready for use. Position and velocity feed forward set points are sent to the O-drive and the actual positions and velocities are read to evaluate performance. I ran tests at various frequencies up to 12 Hz and the tracking performance seems to be holding up. I didn't go over every detail in the video to keep it short and interesting but you can find more information about the project by following the link in the video description. That's it for this video, if you have any questions or suggestions you can leave them in the comments below. Please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye!